Melissa here. Lizzie here. We're here with Red Hot in Nashville at Frisky Frogs, and we're fixing to go speak with Tracy Bregman. So stay tuned. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. This is Lizzie Miller and I am sitting next to a wonderful actress. Her name is Tracy Bregman. How you doing? I'm great. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So you are here in Nashville, Tennessee and what a pleasure it is to have you in town. Thank you. I really appreciate it. I love it here. <laughs> Everybody loves it here and they end up moving here after they come and visit. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I was looking for ranches. Yeah. <laughs> ranches. All right. Well, maybe next time we'll... That is right. Tell us about that. Oh, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Oh, um, no, I'm actually a dressage rider, and I, I have two horses myself. Yeah. So to have even more land here would be amazing. Absolutely. So I want to go back in time just a little bit. Okay. <laughs> so I know you're from Germany. I was born in Munich but raised in London, England. Cool. And you have been acting since the age of 11 years old. Right. My first show was 14, but I did commercials when I was 11. That is amazing. And you know what, I'm, I'm familiar with some background history where your dad was a producer and into music and you have a, a mom that was involved with acting. Tell us a little bit about that. Right, my dad um, started Verve Records and he was the arranger and conductor for Ella Fitzgerald and Bing Crosby and Eddie Fisher and actually traveled with Eddie. His, he actually has two um, albums still on the top 10 of all jazz. Um, albums, uh, Cole Porter and Rodgers and Hart with Ella Fitzgerald. So my dad also was head of BBC specials and that's why we lived in London and my mom was on the show The Saint with Roger Moore. And uh, then he came, back to, he came back to Los Angeles for my father to bring English content to American television. And it was during that time that I would always work with my dad and I was always in the edit bays and holding his scripts and everything like that. And I kind of learned production from behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. And then my dad was doing a show with all teenagers, and I'm like, you yeah, know, they're having a really good time, and I'm holding his script. What's going on? So I decided to try it myself. Yeah. That's so good to have that family support growing up and, you know, just continuing that throughout life. And I know you recently celebrated 35 years on the hit drama, uh, daytime drama, sorry, The Young and the Restless, which is my favorite soap opera. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. Yes, and my mom, I remember when I was little, I used to hide behind the table because she didn't want me watching soap operas when I was like four years old. <laughs> but I remember I was a fan back then, and I have seen you blossom, and you are just incredible on that show. Thank you. I really appreciate it. It's and been an amazing ride. Yeah, and congrats on that 35 years um, being on that show. Thank you. I like to say I was the uh, toddler summer storyline, but... <laughs> I was the teen summer storyline. <laughs> yeah, it's, I really like The Young and the Restless because they have a really good storyline um, and stories to tell. You know, it's always everyday life situations and they bring out a lot of good, you know, important factors in life. No, definitely. It's very emotionally rich and I think that's why people like to watch it yeah. and continue to watch and it. And I remember you and Sheila Carter. <laughs> that's when I really became Lauren Finmore fan. <laughs> oh, right. All those cat fights. Yeah. You love those. Yeah, I was, I'm like the least physical human being you would ever meet. And they had me like fighting like cats and dogs. <laughs> Those were crazy days. Yeah. And you've been in some movies too. Um, tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, I've done about five, five or six. I always look to count because I've been doing a lot of independent movies. Uh -huh. I love to work with this uh, director, Michael Matteo Rossi, who's 30 years old and he yeah. writes and directs and you know, it's it's called shoestring budget. They tell me I'm, I'm getting paid what basically the the gas is to get to the location, <laughs> and then I never even see that. <laughs> but right, exactly, right. I'm like, okay. But as long as you have a good time and you're making something great, it's kind of exactly. fun to do. Yeah. But I started actually in Canada um, doing Happy Birthday to Me in a, in a comic called Comics with Howie Mandel and Eileen Brennan and Jack Carter, and it was a lot of fun. Absolutely. So, you know what, are, are you doing any music projects currently? Because I know you sing, and Melissa's going to get to that in a minute. We're going to talk about more of the current stuff. I'm still going on the uh, past stuff right now, right. but I know you sing, and I've heard you sing. I've looked up your stuff on YouTube. You're really good. Thank you. I'm like, really? <laughs> I'm like, oh, okay, thank you. Um, actually, I'm part of the producing team of a show going to Broadway. Yeah. 
this it's year. Amazing. Yeah, called Empire, how the Empire State Building came to be in the 1930s. So we have our theater, and we're just at that tail end of fundraising. <laughs> yeah. Yes, and anybody who would like to invest, now's the time. <laughs> Contact me. Um, so we're at the very tail end of it, and then we're right there. Now, I know you've won a lot of awards, and I know you're an Emmy Award winner, but um, New York gave you an award. Tell us about that. Who gave me an award? It was a New York um, writing or New York, something to do with New York um, was sure given was to you. Was it the underground it acting? It might have been. I don't think it was an award. I was nominated last year. There, there was something about a, a bus I read about. Oh, that, okay. Sorry. That I, well, that I remember. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's the bus. I'm like, I'm not sure about that award. But, you know, there are a few there that I'm like, oh, really? Um, so, Gray Line Buses actually dedicated a bus to me. And so at the very front of the bus is this huge picture. It's kind of funny. So if anybody's in New York, ask for the <laughs> Tracy Bregman go, bus. I'm going to go take a trip up there. Just right, exactly. The no, I mean, and every time I'm in New York, I, I forget to go, where's my bus? Because I could call for it. Yeah. I am allowed to. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of buses real quick, I did um, an ad for a real estate agent here in town. And so I'm on the back of a white bus that goes around Nashville. Yeah, I'm on the front. You're in the back. Go. We I do. I see you in Kroger all the time, too. I'll yeah. I do my grocery shopping. I look over and I was like, oh, there's, there's my Lizzie. Partner, Lizzie. <laughs> <laughs> I think <laughs> there's Lizzie. I don't know. I'm who sure knows? they do. They have to. <laughs> Everyone knows who you are. <laughs> so tell us about so, yeah. your future projects coming up and, and other, you know, um, little things that you're working on. Well, Empire is really the one that the biggest yeah. thing that I'm working on. Um, I'm still on Young and Restless. And I have other projects that I'm, I'm, yeah, that I'm in development on. Absolutely, and um, we'd love to come down and uh, check out the Empire when she got. Oh get that yeah, you know we're gonna her. be there. <laughs> <laughs> we're definitely. They'll be selling tickets in the Empire State Building. That's so. amazing. Yeah, and um, okay, so you do sing a little bit, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I kind of <laughs> say that my shower is my amphitheater now. Yeah. Oh, well, that's nice. I mean, my sh I love singing in my shower, too. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> I, just, I just saw Taylor Swift on Saturday night. I went to yeah, her, uh, her concert. concert. Right? She's amazing. Oh, my God. Oh my it God. was a She's birthday, so great. great birthday gift. Such so. a good entertainer. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Uh, tremendous. Yes, I was absolutely. so impressed. And I was standing there, you know, kind of doing this yeah. for the three hours. And I'm like, I'm exhausted. I don't know how she's going. She's like, like these dance yeah. numbers and all I'm doing is this. I'm like, this, this is exhausting. Hours and hours right. of practice. And and, yeah, absolutely. Amazing. Absolutely. So um, what brought you here to Nashville other than just, you know, house hunting? Is I'm that house just hunting. It? I have a lot of friends here. Yeah. Um, so I'm kind just of kind soaking of up the atmosphere and, and seeing what it would be like. Well, that's always fun. <laughs> Melissa is into a lot of fashion, as if I you can't am. tell. So she's going to ask you some stuff about fashion because okay. you look like <laughs> well, you are 25 years oh old gosh, and you're in beautiful. And like, oh, she's so gorgeous. You're so sweet. Yeah, Thank so you. you have gorgeous skin. Thank you. And you're like low. So do you have a skin regimen that you do? That I'm literally like a mad scientist every yeah. night in uh, my bathroom. You know what? I. I I'm really clear about using things that are paraben free, that mm -hmm. are organic, that are vegan, animal friendly, all of Absolutely. those things, yeah. including all my makeup all has that as well. Okay, so what are some products that you're, are your like go-to? Um, well, my hero product right now is the um, Exfolicate okay. from Kate Somerville. Yeah. I got it in an Emmy bag and I gotta tell you something, it's the best thing Amazing. ever. I keep it in the, in the shower, so every time I wash my hair it's Scrub time. I've actually been wanting to try yeah. that. Oh so no, it's fantastic. And yeah. I'm a, I, I know this is kind of personal, but I'm a big exfoliator. Yeah, that's uh, so and all good. sorts of things, yes. you know. Yes, right. I've read Absolutely. that it's like perfect right. to do, you know, all the dry skin. Right, exactly. Reveals that new radiant skin. Definitely. And you absolutely have beautiful radiant You're skin. Very sweet. <laughs> you, have, you guys look great. So oh, thank I'm, you. Thank you for any compliments. So you're really big on fashion. Do you follow it much? Yeah, or, no, yeah. I do. Yeah. I do. I love it. You may not know it by today. But oh, no. I think oh, you yeah, look gorgeous. Right. <laughs> you're actually, when you thank walked up, you. I told Lizzie, I was like, oh, my God, I love your shoes. I'm a really big uh, shoe girl, and um, I'm really big. Got really big into like skincare, and um, right. so I like all that stuff as well. You yeah. know, I was at Haven in uh, Franklin mm -hmm. oh, nice. on the main street yeah, yesterday. Yeah, isn't that really, really nice? nice? I bought a couple of things yeah, there. Yeah, I, lo I love that place. <laughs> yeah. and I guess they have two other stores in downtown Nashville. I've, I've never been to the one downtown. I'm mm -hmm. always going to the one in Franklin, though. Oh, yeah, it's but very, it's really good, though, right? Yes. It's good. And uh, Nashville has a lot of little finds like that around here for skin oh, really? care and um, little boutiques that are really great, like um, really the Blush Boutique yeah. um, in um, the Gulch. 
Yeah. You definitely have to check that out. Really? Yeah. I have not actually checked this whole area. You should. Oh, and there's <laughs> new things popping up every day. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. I, so. I had a meeting at Bananas and Caviar. Or caviar like and it? bananas. It's very, it's, it's, I don't, yes. I don't know it's it was an interesting. interesting combo. It's very interesting. Just when you don't think you could absolutely <laughs> mess up bananas, somebody says caviar, and you're it's like, hmm. I remember wow. when they were building yeah. it, and I was like, oh, what is it called? And they're like, bananas and caviar. And I was like, oh, that sounds very interesting. I don't yeah. know if I want to try that I one. I, I just went for a scone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I thought it was really neat how they had mm -hmm. it set up, and I've actually seen like little um, Instagram photos and stuff about them actually doing your nails and stuff. Um, I don't really? know. I have to check I missed that, that out. Part. I know. But I was like, do you get your nails done and right. you eat? That's very cool. Right. That's so, so funny. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So well, I have to check that out. I'm, but I'm into doing, you know, like here. If while I'm doing my hair, if I could get my nails done at yes. the same time, that would be so much easier, right? Yeah, absolutely. Or a massage, <laughs> right? Right. I was actually telling um, Lizzie when we were um, walking up, every time I go get my nails done, your soap opera is always on. Oh, yeah. yeah, I'm That's always so watching funny. it. That's so and I get drawn in, you know, usually, I, I don't know exactly what episodes and stuff it is, but I always get drawn in. I'm always oh, sitting good. there. Oh, it's so, it's so good right <laughs> so now. Good. Oh, yeah. Peter Bergman, Jack, he so doesn't good. know who his dad is. <laughs> but I know you're not going to spill the secrets right now. It's possible I don't know. <laughs> So on the topic of fashion real quick, yeah. um, I just remembered you did, you came out with a jewelry line a few years ago. Right. So oh, wow. um, I went back to school and got a GIA because I was uh, developing and designing a jewelry line that was sold on home shopping. Uh -huh. Oh wow. And I did that for four years. I did about five collections a year. <laughs> That's awesome. And, uh, I bet that was, was an interesting experience. It was because it was a category that I never thought in a million years. I mean, I you, loved it. Yeah. I dated a jeweler. I just never <laughs> thought that, you know, There'd I had opinions you get about into. a jewelry, <laughs> but I never thought I'd be doing that. And yeah. so I really wanted to go back to school and understand it. And that's why I got the uh, accreditation. Is it really intricate or is it, it was, a little bit easier? It was fun for me. I did a lot of things that it, uh, inspired me. Yeah. Because I love a lot of words that inspire me. Um, I love evil eyes. If I turn my little makeup purse over, you'd see I have evil eyes. So oh, that's awesome. You know, and I also have a lot of Buddhas around my house. So yeah. they own oh, your sign. dog's name's Buddha, right? My dog, and my dog is here, Buddha. Really? Oh, Buddha came with Aww. me in Nashville. That is awesome. <laughs> is he a service dog? He's an um, actually an emotional support dog. That's so good. Mm -hmm. That's good. And he's trained actually as a service dog. Yeah. He was um, trained. To, for dogs sniff out cancer, oh, nice. but oh, he wow. was so hyper, they were like, okay, he's got to be an emotional support dog. <laughs> he's a little too hyper. <laughs> he was so hyper. Now he's calmed down. Of course, what do you know? I come here, the like literally hour one I'm here at my friend's ranch, my dog kills a chicken. Oh, oh my gosh! He Only in Nashville, right? <laughs> no, but I have a my I have a flock of chickens. Yeah. Oh, he's never touched my own chickens. I'm like, what was wrong with that one chicken? And I'm like, where do you get a chicken around here? I need to replace a chicken. <laughs> I guess he's trying to say he's not chicken, right? But uh, yeah, but I will say it kind of pepped him up. <laughs> I was like. Oh, where did all this energy come from? I felt That's so awesome. terrible. I mean, I'm the veganish over here, so. Yeah. You're gluten free too, right? Because yeah, I've been gluten free for two years and I have less headaches and all that stuff. Amazing, right? Yeah. So good. It is awesome. I was completely 100% gluten free for about six years mm -hmm. and now I'm about mm, 90. I haven't jumped on that train yet. I need yeah. to, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> is, it, is it really great? Yeah. It's good. I think it's all in moderation and yeah. just, you know, having a little bit of everything and just not doing too much of something. Well, I think also, you know, not everyone has a, kind of a sensitivity to wheat. Mm -hmm. But if you have something going on in your body, that would be the first thing that I would try. Absolutely. And it's okay. easy now. When yeah. I went gluten-free, I had to make all my own bread. Oh wow! And I now, don't think I have time for that. <laughs> yeah, I know, really. But there is fan. There are such fantastic products now. My favorite thing to do is to take people shopping. Yeah. To help oh. them with, go gluten free. Oh, you're free. gonna have to take me shopping and go gluten free. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just go to Whole Foods over here and uh, set you up. Okay, right, sounds good. <laughs> you were also a spokesperson for Jabot Cosmetics, right? Yeah, I was. So that I was mean, that was on the soap opera, but I mean in real life too, right? Right, exactly. So that was based on the fictitious brand Jabot Cosmetics that's been on the Young and Restless for 30 years, and um, it was the first uh, retail line of CBS television and Sony Pictures and oh, Fusion wow. Brands, and then I was the face of it for HSN. That's really neat. Mm -hmm. That's really cool how that, that came out. It's really cool. <laughs>
Oh, so tell us, um, Melissa, let's talk a little bit about what you plan to do um, over the next year. What are some lifelong goals? Is there a certain thing on your bucket list that you want to accomplish? Let's kind of get a little bit of, of that going. Well, I think kind of the things that I've been talking about, getting the musical up mm -hmm. on Broadway would be yeah. huge yeah. bucket list, huge. Yeah. I've always wanted to tackle yeah. Broadway, but um, I'm a little too scared to be in it, you know, like be on the stage. No Strangely way. enough, after all these years, I'm like, oh, I, I don't think I can we'll do that. We'll be there cheering you on. Actress, no, I'll, I'm very no. happily producing. Yes. So I think you're going to see more come from me in a producing capacity. Okay. Um, I'll be a little bit more behind the scenes. Mm -hmm. But still with the personality. Yeah. <laughs> really good personality. <laughs> and it's, it's really cool to, you know, be doing something for such a long time, and then you want to kind of branch out and stem out and do different things. Yeah, Melissa and I, we do music together, and oh, we, nice. we're doing TV hosting together now. So, you know, it's all about variety in life oh, and yeah, just going completely. with the flow. And passion and yeah, following absolutely. that passion. And it doesn't mean that if you're just on one road, you have to stay on that one road. Exactly. Stepping out of your box and trying right. new things, like you said, exactly. producing. Right. I think that's an awesome journey to start. Yeah, well, I'm writing, producing, and uh, also, you know, producing other people's work. Yeah, and, absolutely. Uh, we'll see. And I actually had a network ask me if I wanted to direct, which I'd never really nice. thought about. And I was like, you know, maybe I would try that. Why yeah, not? I'm, you I'm, I'm, you've been in I'm the sort business of a, for so long. Definitely, but yeah. I'm sort of at a place in my life where I'm sort of saying, okay, I'm going to try all these new things now. Yeah. Well, if not now, I don't know when, when? but, you know, exactly. exactly. But, you know, I just got single again. Oh, oh my goodness. I think I think I saw that. <laughs> and who up. would ever break up with this beautiful queen? Oh, no, <laughs> beautiful. I broke up with him, but he uh, still oh, okay. broke up with each other. <laughs> and it was just, you know. So I guess you enjoy some of the Taylor Swift songs you heard the other oh, night. Yeah. Like, we <laughs> yeah, like, are yeah. never, ever <laughs> getting back together. <laughs> That's a little final. Like ever. <laughs> no, maybe there's right. a little room. There's some wiggle room in there. You know, but still, you know, it's like, oh, God. So what's yeah. it like being single in Nashville? Yeah, we're single. Nashville, we're single. single. Nashville we're not married. Fun. There's so many things to do and um, mm -hmm. yeah. so many things to explore and you know it's nice not to have anything to tie you down and go do what you want and well that's sort of how I'm feeling girl. That's yeah that's kind of how I'm feeling right now is I don't have any tie I mean you clearly yeah, I have you children have any, uh, but you know right. and my mother but what I'm saying is that there's that I can go and do whatever I want exactly. to do and yeah. now sort of the time to open that part of my life up absolutely I agree with you I think that's what me and Lizzie do and I think yeah. that's um, what life's all about fun. just yeah. go with the flow and, and Nashville's the best yeah. place to do it, too. Oh, it, yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> the possibilities here are endless. <laughs> so we're going to wrap up real quick. Um, any last words you want to say? No, just thank you so much for having me on your show thank and you. for spending time. I loved it. Yeah. And we are red hot here in Nashville today, people. Sure. <laughs> we are. <laughs> Look at her. She is what so is sweet. Here? <laughs> Have you seen this? <laughs> <laughs> my Goodness. <laughs> you so sweet. And I just thought of something. Sorry, I just said I was going to wrap up, but my ADD <laughs> kicks in. You starred in Reba McIntyre's music video in 2010 I with did. Christian LeBlanc um, from the YNR, and you played mother and father in that. Is that correct? So you've had some music video experience too. I have. Reba's a friend. So um, it was very nice that she asked me if I would do that. Yeah. Just wanted to throw that in because we are in Nashville today. Sorry. Check out the video. Check it well, out. I keep on loving you. <laughs> so nice. Loving you. So much fun to do. Well, from Melissa and I, we want to thank you, Tracy, yes. for being here. Thank you, thank so, you so much. much. So much fun. You're yeah. enjoying. Yeah. Come back. We'll hang Absolutely. out. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Sounds good. You're show me what the heck to do. <laughs> oh, when you're single, fun. it's always about always being single. Tracy Bregman, ladies and gentlemen, thanks so much thank for tuning you. in. See you later. Bye. Peace.